Hello everyone, in this video I am going to discuss about one of the AWS services which has recently become very popular that is AWS Glue. So what is AWS Glue and why has it become so popular? Let's see. Okay, so these are the three things I mean that are so important about AWS Glue. One is that it is a centralized metadata store. Another one is uh, it can perform ETL, ETL uh, workflows for you and it is a serverless uh, service. Okay. So let us discuss each of these points in detail. Firstly, what is metadata store? Let us see. Okay, so AWS ha Glue has something called AWS Glue Data Catalog. So what it does is basically it has all the metadata about, uh, I mean, in the form of database and tables ab about the data in S3, RDS, Redshift, or DynamoDB. Let's look into, let's look in more detail how this happens. Okay, so AWS Glue has something called uh, crawler. Okay. What crawler does is it connects to these services. This can be AWS, RDS, uh, Redshift, DynamoDB or any other uh, JDBC connection. Okay. So what crawler does, it crawls through this data. Uh, uh, to give you an example, suppose you have a CSV file in S3, which has like 100 million rows of data. Okay. It crawls through like uh, some, some sample data. Okay. And uh, what it does, it infers the schema of this file. Okay. In infers a schema and it creates a table and stores it in this uh, data catalog. Okay, this can I mean this data catalog can then be integrated with uh, Athena service to run your uh, SQL uh, queries to form, perform data analysis. So cool, right? So what uh, AWS Glue data catalog can do for you? It can act as a centralized I mean metadata repository. So remember this uh, does not uh, serve I mean this is not a database. Okay database in the sense it stores only metadata of tables okay so this uh, glue tables has the metadata in the sense like what is the table name what is a column name and what is the data type of that okay so this metadata can then be used uh, to create tables in aws athena okay there in aws athena you can run your uh, sql queries to perform uh, data analysis on your data okay so i just gave you an example of s3 this can be any data uh, store Okay, like uh, RDS, Redshift, DynamoDB. So this uh, is called data store. Okay, so glue crawler is uh, what I mean, as I explained to you, glue crawler is the one which crawls through the data, infers the schema and stores the metadata into glue catalog. Okay, so these are the three main concepts. Okay, data stores, crawler and data catalog. Okay, in my next video, I'll explain you how exactly crawler runs, how to connect crawler through a data store and how to create database and tables. Okay, so this is uh, first point about the AWS Glue. Okay, so then second point is it is an ETL service. Okay, let's look in detail. What is ETL service? Okay, Glue has something called uh, Glue Jobs. Okay, what they do, they uh, perform extract, transform, and load operations for you. Okay, you can author a Glue job uh, basically in Python or uh, Scala, and you know you can have a source uh, source data and uh, destination data location. Okay. So what it does, it takes the data from source, transform using your Python or Scala code and store the dest uh, I mean data in your destination location. So that's what glue job does for you. So basically it is a serverless. Okay. You need not uh, worry about uh, provisioning the clusters or uh, servers, anything. You just uh, write your code and submit uh, to the glue job and just run the glue job. Okay. So uh, glue job, it uh, takes care in the backend of uh, servers and everything. It runs the code and you know it transforms your data and stores your data into the destination uh, location. Okay, you can leverage uh, Spark. Okay, for those who don't know Spark, what Spark Spark is Spark is basically a big data analytics uh, you know engine. Okay, it uh, you know helps you perform big data analytics in a you know in a very optimized manner. Okay, so you can leverage uh, the functionalities of uh, Spark using Glue Jobs. Okay. So that's point number two. The point number three is it is a serverless. Okay. What does serverless mean? Like I already explained, you need not you know worry about provisioning any clusters or uh, servers or anything. So it's like managed by AWS, everything. You just have to write your uh, uh, glue job in Python or Scala and just submit that job and glue will take care of running that code for you. Okay. So that's what AWS glue is. Okay. In the upcoming videos, we'll see how to uh, create a database and tables from uh, I mean data store and also we'll have I'll make a video on how to uh, create a glue job and how to run the glue job. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hope you understood uh, what AWS glue is 
and also let's discuss about applications of I mean AWS Glue. Okay, you can analyze data. Okay, like I already said, you can create a database uh, uh, using data catalog, and then you can uh, analyze this data using SQL, right? I mean, you have a data in S3, you want to analyze that data. Just create a Glue catalog table and integrate it with Athena and run your queries. Okay, so you can transform data using uh, ETL. Okay, uh, like already like you using Glue jobs. You can run your ETL pipelines and also AWS Glue is like mostly used to build data lakes. Data lakes in a sense, you have a source uh, S3 bucket and you take that data, transform it in your uh, ETL job, uh, store it in destination. Okay, so that's what you it ha you it can be used to build data lakes and uh, data warehouses also. Okay, that's what uh, I mean. These are the few of the many applications that AWS Glue is used for. Okay, in the next video, I'll show you how to create a glue catalog table database using uh, S3 data. Okay, thank you.